In 2018, SHK Scallywag retired from the Rolex Sydney Hobart race with a broken bowsprit. Now lightning strikes again and Scallywag has retired from this year's race with a broken bowsprit. This was to be Scallywag's year, as they had a new rig and North 3DA sails, and the crew was packed with world-class ocean racers. They included Mark Bradford, the boss of North Sails, and skipper of Maxi Black Jack, Albie Pratt, of North Sails, formerly on Wild Oats 11, Juan Villar, who is a super navigator, who has directed Wild Oats, and many Volvo Ocean race yachts, plus the boat's regular professional crew. Tonight these top ocean racers have to return wounded to base back in Sydney, their race and expectations in tatters. But they are a professional unit, and they will fix the problem, and be on the starting line of the next race they are entered into. As for the incident off the coast when Scallywag came close to Andu Comanche, we saw it as a classic Libau maneuver and Scallywag was right not to do a penalty. The protest meeting would have been interesting. As for who will win the race on handicap, well our money is on Eric de Turkheim and his top crew on his yacht teasing machine. A short time later, Peter Davison's Archambault 40RC, Arcadia, from Victoria, along with the two-handed entry of Shane Connolly to Tony Sutton, on the J99, Rum Rebellion, also reported they had retired from the 78th running of the Cruising Yacht Club of Australia's 628 nautical mile race. Arcadia has retired with a torn mainsail, but no reason has been given at this stage for Rum Rebellion from Sydney. This leaves 100 boats racing, including 17 two-handed entries. Just before 5 p.m. this evening, both Christian Beck's Law Connect and the John winning junior Skippard, Andu Comanche, reported they were sailing on a comfortable sea in nice 16 to 18 knot winds. Ty Oxley, reported from Law Connect, we are neck and neck with Andu, and reaching at 20 knots, in 18 to 20 knots of breeze. Wind is up and down on a comfortable sea. Sam Fay, said from Andu Comanche, we are doing 26 knots and have just overtaken Law Connect. The three boats had been having a tight tussle until SHK Scallywag's retirement. Grant Warrington's 100-foot Wild Thing 100, with her shorter rig, is 13 nautical miles behind Law Connect at 7.30 p.m.